the story of laddu laddus are easily the most famous indian sweets of them all if tomorrow india has to choose a national sweet dish the most likely contender should be the laddu they are so popular that every region in india has its own version of the laddu from the motichur laddu in the north to the coconut laddu in the south not only does this easy variety has close to a dozen style of making it the oldest form called the nariyal nakru in south india dates back to the time of the chola empire when it was a sweet that was packed for travelers and warriors as a symbol of good luck for their expeditions the sweet also has a special place in prayer rituals and is very popular offering to gods At the Tirupati Temple, the richest Hindu temple in India, located in Tamil Nadu, over 100 million laddus are sold each year. There is no doubt that laddus have originated in India. The contentions lie in the where, when and how. One of the widely believed theories is that Shushruta, the ancient Indian physician, first used spherical balls of sesame seeds as an antiseptic to treat his patients. From there, the laddu gradually began taking shape as the sweet we have come to know and love today. Shushruta, also known as the father of surgery in India, he is the author of Shushruta Samhita. It is believed that he created small edible balls made of ingredients like sesame seeds, jaggery and peanuts and inserted small doses of medicine into them. This was done in order to make the drug easier to consume for the patient. Sesame seeds and jaggery themselves are considered in Ayurveda to have many health benefits including healthier bones acting as a cure for indigestion maintaining blood pressure as well as treating colds and coughs It is also said that in the past laddus were fed to adults and girls in order to balance their hormones These laddus were mostly made of fenugreek seeds which is an ingredient known to have several benefits for women The real twist in the laddu story was of course affected by the import of sugar in the early British era referred to as sweet white poison it became the genesis of a lot of laddus that made it an everyday sweet one of the first to have this makeover was the lai that originated in mokama in bihar once prepared with ramdana seeds and khoya With jaggery adding the sweetness the laddu took a U turn when people realized that adding sugar could take the sweet quotient up by 3 times while hiding the slight after taste of the seeds The Chand Shahi yet another wheat flour based laddu was another example of how laddus changed once sugar cane cultivation started in India Maner ke laddu a older twin of Motichur ke laddu often is an excellent case in point to see how sugar syrup changes the traditional pudi laddu There is an old shop in the city of Kanpur in Uttar Pradesh called Thaggu ke laddu which means a thugs laddu and Ramavatar Pandey the founder of the confectionery created a trademark laddu using khoya suji or semolina and refined sugar which was termed white poison because of its association with the british while these laddus became such hot sellers the fact that pandey was cheating on his countrymen by using a colonial product weighed heavily on his conscience he then decided that he could not shut up shop but could at least let his customer know that he was up to no good by naming his business thaggu ke laddu Little did Pandey realize that when it came to sweets much like other food it was taste that matter and his creation become a legend This colorful history truly complements laddus which are ubiquitous in every Indian celebration so whenever you visit India make sure that tasting a laddu is definitely on your list of things to do and if you go to Kanpur do make a quick stop over at the famous thaggu ke laddu I hope you have enjoyed today's video share your thoughts and comments with me and don't forget to subscribe this channel